Good morning, brothers and sisters. In the midst of our Advent preparation for the birth of Jesus, we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Principal Patroness of the Philippines. We focus our eyes on Mary, the woman God has chosen to be the mother of the Savior. As Mary lived up to her Immaculate Conception, listening to the Word of God and keeping it, so we are challenged to continue living up to that privilege given to her for our sake. Our Mass Presider for this morning is Reverend Father Emil Lim, SVD. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, let us first be mindful that we have not been privileged with that, only singularly, uniquely given to this simple girl called Mary, to be immaculately conceived uh, in view of the birth of the Son of God on our world. We, on our part, have been tainted with sin. We commit sin. And that's why at the beginning of the Mass, always, we examine ourselves, confess our sins to the Lord, and humbly beg God's mercy for and His forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. To 
together with the angels and the saints, let's sing the Gloria. conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son. Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. By succumbing to the temptation of the serpent, which symbolizes evil, Adam and Eve bring their descendants out of God's grace. Still, the Lord does not abandon humankind. A new Eve will bring forth an offspring who will overcome evil. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers, he will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. 
the man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness for the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. In the second reading, Paul speaks of how God chose his holy ones in Christ before the foundation of the world. The apostle pictures for us how God prepared Mary for her role as mother of the Savior. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose him chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hope in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us all honor the Holy Gospel. is with you. Blessed are you among women. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin 
be thrown to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Son to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters and fellow Catholics. Happy feast day to all of you. Oh. Yeah, you can greet one another also. Happy feast day on this, this solemnity. Oh, oh, because we who are a good devotee of devotees of the Blessed Mother Mary really feels some special joy uh, when we look up to Mary and particularly how the Church proclaimed or stated already the spiritual fact. So it's already a spiritual fact. Yun ang isang term ko kapag sinasabing dogma. Minsan hindi natin maintindihan pag sinabing, ano ba dogma? Ano ibig sabihin ng dogma? So parang sa akin, it's like a spiritual fact. Ginawa na ng Diyos, pero inuulit na lang, ay ini-state na lang, no? pinoproclaim na lamang ng simbahan yung ginawa ng Diyos. So hindi inimbento ng simbahan yun. Ginawa niya na lamang ng proclamation na this is how God acted. Fact na yun. Kinilala na lamang natin sa ating simbahan. And that is when the, the Holy Father in 15, uh, 1854, 1854, matagal na matagal na yun, uh, na idineclare ni Pope uh, Pius IX, yung dogma, yung dogma na yun, na if I may read para mas clear, para hindi nyo sabihin, mahirap minsan kapag pinaparapraise, eh. so ang sabi dito, uh, in proclaiming the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, Pope Pius IX solemnly declared, uh, dinideclare ng simbahan, pero hindi inimbento. Ginawa na ng Diyos yun, simula't simula pa. Nakukuha nyo, at least makikita natin yun. Ha? Na, so, solemnly declared, the Most Blessed Virgin Mary was from the first moment of her conception. In first moment ng conception, sa pagsisimula pa lamang na tumutubo ang buhay sa sinapupunan ng kanyang mga magulang, in the first moment of con her, her conception, by, by a singular grace, singular grace and privilege of Almighty God, Diyos ang may gawa, and by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, yung kanyang ipapanganak, by the merits of her son Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, and now preserve, immune from all stain of original sin. Direct quotation from the declaration in Deus in 1854. So, preserve and immune from all stain of original sin. Yes, Father, matagal na ho kami katoliko, alam na po namin yan. Pero ang nais ko lamang, 
nararamdaman ba natin kung gaano kabigat yun o kung gaano kahalaga? That has never happened in creation. Hindi nangyari. Nung nagsimula, nung magkaroon ng buhay dito sa daigdig ng mga tao, it never happened. It only happened once and only through Mary or in Mary na siya ay nailigtas sa kasalanan. No? Another way of understanding it, siguro mas malapit sa experience natin ngayon, ngayon pinag-uusapan na kung tungkol dyan sa vaccine, di ba? Vaccine against COVID-19. So, buong mundo ay naghihintay na magkaroon at masubukan niyang vaccine na yan. Ang Moscow, ang mga Russian, gusto talagang mauna. So, nag injection na sila ng mga vaccine. Hindi lang trial, ha? Talagang vaccination na ito. Ang Canada, ayon sa radyo kanina, ay nakuha na at magsisimula na sila. Hindi linggo, araw na lang ang hinihintay. Magsisimula na silang mag-vaccinate. At marami pang mga uh, ibang bansa who, who we already get their orders of vaccine. At tayo, magpapatuloy pa tayong pagdarasal na umabot tayo sa vaccine. Masaya na tayo pag sa Hunyo, kalagitnaan ng, ng 2021, ay meron na rin tayong vaccine. Aabot na rin sa atin yan. But isipin niyo yung vaccine. The vaccine ay gustong-gusto because it will prevent the infection of COVID-19. It preserved and immune. Almost kapareho. Preserved and immune. Pag na-vaccinate ka, ay hindi ka nakakapitan ng COVID-19. Now, if there is an immunization, if there is a vaccine for original sin, that was given to Mary by God. So, yun yung isang uh, analogy na pwede natin gamitin. Ano yung kahalagahan? Number one, our first reading already showed it. When original sin came into the world. When Adam and Eve were created, they were created in paradise. Pure. Walang bahid ng kasalanan. So, hindi silang mamamatay, hindi silang magkakasakit, wala silang paghihirap sa paradise. That's the perfect existence. But because... Our human parents, Adam and Eve, committed a sin by disobedience. So, yung unang kasalanan, no? Ang unang kasalanan sa mundo ay disobedience. That is also the sin of the evil one. That's the sin of Satan. That's the sin of those who are in hell. Disobedience against God. Para tumatak sa ating isipan. When our first parents, Adam and Eve, disobeyed God, then they in, were infected by the original sin. And all the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve, yung ating human nature will always be tainted with original sin. Kasalanang pana. Maalis lamang sa atin yon sa pamamagitan ng binyag. Yung kasalanang mana na yon ang wala kay Maria. So of all the people that has been created, conceived, and given birth here on earth, only one human being exempted. You see the privilege? Only one. Now, again, extend pa natin yun. Ano naman? Okay, sige. Exempted siya ng one. You know, kaya siguro, sa kapistahang ito, at dahil dyan sa Immaculate Conception, nagningit-ngit ang kalaban. Nagningit-ngit si Satanas. Nagningit-ngit ang mga demonyo. Dahil the pride of the evil one is that all people dumaan sa kamay ko yan. Sabi ni Satan, dumaan sa kamay ko yan. Lahat yan nagkasala. Lahat yan pwede kong pagkasalain yan. So for the evil one, lahat tayo magkakasala. Isang tao lang ang hindi dumaan sa kamay ng kasalanan, sa kamay ng demonyo. Mother Mary. Kaya nasisira yung ego, yung pride ng evil one because of Mother Mary. And that's why when you see Mother Mary crushing the head of the snake, of Satan, kaya galit na galit ang kalaban ng demonyo because of the Immaculate Conception. That's how, how big that is. Third, makikita natin doon na because he is uh, without original sin, ay then siya rin ang mauuna sa langit. Yung redemption, 
na hinihingi natin sa, sa pamagitan ng pagkamatay ng ating Panginoon na tinatanggap natin sa binyag, kay Mary, okay na yun sa langit. Kung baga sarado ang langit, isang tao lamang ang bubukas sa pintuan. No? Nasira niya yung saradong langit. Again, Mother Mary. And that's why Mother Mary is our idol. He is our Lodi. Natutuwa tayo kapag may Pilipino nagiging Miss Universe. Natutuwa tayo kapag pride natin. Kapag may Pilipinong natanalo sa boxing. Natutuwa tayo kapag may mga Pilipino na nananalo sa mga singing contest. Pagdating sa mga ganyan, boxing, uh, beauty contest, singing and dancing, ay, mangunguna tayo mga Pilipino. That's our pride as a Filipino. As a human, as a human family, she is our pride. Because she's the only one who could claim to heaven for having been full of grace and without sin. Kaya when I learned theology no, sa seminaryo, yun ang tumatak sa akin. She is the pride of humanity. It was not a man. It was not a king. It was not a human queen. It's not an artista celebrity. It's not a politician. It's a simple girl called Mary. Now, kapag na-reflect na natin yun, oh, sa, and by the way, kapag may nagsasabi sa inyo, halimbawa yung mga kapatid natin na nagbabasa rin ng Biblia, sa, saan nyo naman nakita yan? Saan nyo naman nakita ang Immaculate Conception? Wala naman sa, sa Biblia yan. No, it is in the Bible. Yung gospel na binasa natin ngayon, yun yung connection. Look how the angel declared or uh, addressed Mary. Hail, full of grace. Yung Hail Mary natin. Hail, Hail Mary, full of hindi sinabing half of grace. Hindi. Kahit hindi sinabing 90% of grace. Hindi. It's full. You can only be full of grace if you are without sin. So, triumph natin si Maria. Trophy natin si Maria. Uh, and kaganoon na lamang pagpahalaga. And so, for us, uh, what, what is going to? Ako wala akong masyadong lesson for us. Pero, The great things that the Lord has done through Mary. Dakilang bagay ang ginawa ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Maria. Sa pamamagitan ng babaeng si Maria. Nagawa ng Diyos ng dakilang bagay. And what is that? To be able to come down and walk with us here on earth. And because of that, we are saved. We are redeemed. Pati tayo nasama, na-adapt na rin papuntang langit sa pamamagitan ni Maria. Great things. Walang makakagawa, no? But only through Mary. But how is that possible that God can do great things for Mary? Ah, doon sa sagot ni Mary sa angel. No? Hindi niya man naiintindihan, hindi naman niya alam kung paano mag- mangyayari yon. pero sabi niya, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. We see that as Mary is humble, yes, uh, that Mary is... A, pero I think for us, we can apply for ourselves, is because Mary allowed God to do that great things for her. Kaya nga sabi ko, huwag nating sasabihin, Lord, ah, in-offer ko na yung buhay ko, nagpari na ako, nagmadre na ako, nag nag-donate na ako sa simbahan, nagpagawa ako ng chapel sa probinsya namin, nag, pag, pag may mga lindol, at ano, I can do this, I am doing this for you, Lord. Anyabang natin kapag sinasabi natin yon. What can we do for God? Eh, He owns the universe. Whatever we can do, He can do by Himself. There's nothing that we can claim we can do for God kahit basili ka pa ang ipagawa mo. When David says, oh, buti ako na sa palasyo, samantalang yung Yahweh is there in the tent. I said, I will make a big temple for Yahweh. Oh. Sabi ng prophet sa kanya, sige, gawin mo yan. That night, Yahweh spoke to the prophet and said, tell David, tell David, are you going to build a temple for me? Oh. And God 
rejected, rejected the proposal of David, his favorite servant, to make him a temple. You're not going to make. Saya, yung anak mo kasi guro ang gagawa ng temple. Pero let us never claim in arrogance what we can do or donate or give for God. Only God can do great things through us if, like Mary, we put ourselves at the disposal of God. Put ourselves in the disposal of God. How do we do that, dear brothers and sisters? Some simple things. Every morning, every day of our life, number one, consecrate yourself to God. I-consecrate, i-alay mo na, Lord, whatever happens today, how am I going to act and live? I consecrate to you, to your service. Second, put our talents and our gifts at the disposal of God. Lord, pari po ako, doktor po ako, engineer po ako, teacher po ako, lahat po ng talino ko, lahat ng aking kakayanan na ipinagkaloob mo rin sa akin, I put at your disposal. And, and thirdly, be humble about it because they all came from God. If we put ourselves like Mary at the disposal of God, then God can do great things. Bakit minsan sabi na, ang daming problema sa, hindi naman nangyayari yung great things na ginagawa ng Diyos. No? Binabagyo pa rin tayo, nakukubid pa rin tayo and everything. You know why, dear brothers and sisters, bakit marami pa rin mahirap? Because we think too much of ourselves kung ano ang magagawa ko para sa sarili ko. Nauuna yung aking pansarili. Unlike Mary, who says, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your words. And that's why you see how beautiful the answer of Mary is. And because of that, the impossible became possible. And so I'm happy for this day celebrating Mary not only because each and every Catholic is a devotee of the Blessed Virgin Mary and particularly for us also uh, Divine Word SVD, uh, but also because I hope you could pray for me. I celebrate today my 28th uh, sacerdotal anniversary, the anniversary of my uh, ordination to, uh, 28 years ago na. No? So, you help me. Maraming salamat po together with my classmates. Oh, and I'd like to mention also in a special way yung aking kapatid, si Oji, na isang lay minister dito, at ang kanyang asawa, uh, dot, uh, sister-in-law, Marita, na isa din naman. No? And they are also celebrating their anniversary, 19th wedding anniversary naman sa, sa araw na to. So congratulations din sa kanila. Let us all rise and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and, and apostolic, apostolic Church. Church. I, I confess, confess one, one baptism for, for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins. sins. And, and I, I look forward, forward to the resurrection of the dead and the, and the life, life of, of the, the world, world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. In our great need, we ask, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. 
Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May Mary, the Immaculate Mother, intercede for the Christian people so that they may go forward in hope, relying on the help of Christ. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May the Filipino nation never grow weary of invoking the Blessed Mother and always find refuge under her protection. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May all who are facing trials, sufferings, and difficulties feel Mary's motherly love. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May our Christian families and communities be centers of joy and mutual support and be protectors of life from conception to old age. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May all of us find in Mary a model of prayer, service, and obedience to God's will. May we listen to her as she points to Jesus and says, Do whatever he tells you. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. We pray also for continually uh, for the eradication and the control of the COVID-19 pandemic for those who are affected by it, those who are inflicted by the virus, and those who are working against it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Father, as we rejoice in the privilege of Mary's Immaculate Conception, may we ourselves come to you, cleansed of all sins. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your pervenient grace to be untouched 
by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan, na upuro ang langit at lupa ng kalwalhati ang mo. O sana, sana sa paita, asa pinagbala ang naparirito sa mga ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa pagitaan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Si Cristo ay gunitay Sarili ay inihari Bilang baga ay tinumin Pinagsasaluha natin Hanggang sa siya Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
Broderick Pabillo, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, the most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, Jude Thaddeus, your servant and our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Sa lana ng sanibutan, 
Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Son of God. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Mary, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. And once again, we praise and thank the Lord for this uh, great honor given to the Blessed Virgin Mary 
on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Today, marami pong nagdiriwang ng kapistahan. Immaculate Conception, Cubao, sa National, uh, sa ating Manila Cathedral, Immaculate Conception, at marami pang mga parokya at mga dioceses na ang patron ay walang iba kung hindi ang Mama Mary of the Immaculate Conception. In a special way, I would like in behalf of the uh, National Shrine of St. Judas and SVD Confers, SVD Team, to congratulate the Sister Servants of the Holy Spirit, SSPS. Yan, kasama natin sila ngayon, yan sa Misa ngayon, on uh, their 131st foundation anniversary today. Palakpakan natin po. Mag- Pwede po tumayo yung mga Holy Spirit Sisters. Yan, yeah, mga Holy Spirit Sisters. Yan, yeah, congratulations po sa inyo. At, uh, yun. Uh, malapit po kami sa kanila kasi iisa. We have a common founder. Yun po, yun nasa stained glass doon sa bandaroon. Si St. Arnold Jansen. Siya po ang nagtatag ng SVD. Kami po yun, Society of the Divine Word. Yung Holy Spirit Sisters or Blue Sisters. At yung Sister Servants of the Holy Spirit of Perpetual Adoration o Pink Sisters. Kaya kami po ay, we form one family founded by St. Arnold Jansen. And today also, we congratulate and we thank our celebrant for the Mass on the occasion of his 28th priestly anniversary. He was ordained uh, a priest 28 years ago and uh, subsequently assigned for 22 three some years in Hong Kong and especially as OFW chaplain sa Hong Kong. Congratulations, Father Emmy Lim. And also, today we extend our happy congratulations and best wishes to our uh, lay minister, Eucharistic minister, Si Lim, and our lector, head of lector commentator, Marita Lim, on the occasion of their 19th, 19th wedding anniversary today. Yan. Kami pong dalawa ni Father Emily ang nagkasal sa dalawang yan uh, 19 years ago. So, Marita and Oji, heartfelt congratulations sa inyo. At sa lahat po ng mga konsepsyon, ang pangalan ay konsepsyon, at sa lahat ng mga nagdiriwang ng birthday today. Meron ba kayo nagdiriwang ng birthday dito? O oh, ayun, ilan? Isa? Uy! Anniversary. Meron nagdiriwang ng anniversary today sa inyo? Wedding? Oo. Anyway, may birthday tayo. So, happy birthday from all of us. Okay? All right. Magsintay pong lahat. Thank you, Father Lino, ang ating Shrine Rector and Paris Priest. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God come upon you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Go in the love and the peace of Christ. Thanks Just be, be to, to God. God. Let us sing a Marian hymn para kay Mama Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you, our women, and blessed 
proceed to the Novena and Benediction. Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 30, the epistle of St. Jude, verse 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God. I love thee, O Jesus, who are perfect charity, who in thine essence art true God and true man, in whom are contained the treasures of the divinity and all the fullness of grace which descends to us upon this earth. I, I love thee, thee, dear Jesus, who for love of me has made thyself like unto me, and kindled within me the flame of thy sacred love, which thou didst bring from heaven, that loving thee, I may grow into thy likeness. I love thee, divine Jesus, my Lord and my Master, because thou hast redeemed and freed me, poor slave of sin, by thy precious blood, of thy sweet mercy, grant that I may enjoy the full fruit of thy redemption. O sweetest Jesus, I implore that I may love thee more and more. Most loving Redeemer, at thy departure from this world, thou didst not wish to leave us orphans. In thy compassionate love, thou didst institute the most holy sacrament of the altar, wherein thou hast given us thyself in order to draw our hearts to thee and enrich us with the plentitude of thy graces. In this sacred mystery, it is thy desire to hear our prayers and to be our refuge in every need, our support in all difficulties, our comfort in every affliction. Thou art wonderful, O Lord, Lord in all, all thy, thy works, but in none more wonderful than in the sacrament of thy love. With deepest reverence and awe, we behold the divine majesty, whom heaven and earth cannot contain. Enclosed under the humble appearance of bread, here the Creator and Ruler of the entire universe condescends to dwell with the children of men and invites the poor and needy to come to Him. O Jesus, our Advocate, both High Priest and Lamb of God forever, it was for our redemption and sanctification that Thou didst offer Thyself upon the altar of the cross. In Thy boundless love, Thou didst desire that this sacrifice of salvation should be daily renewed throughout the entire world until the end of time, that through the merits of thy passion we may obtain the forgiveness of our sins and be filled with thy grace and blessing. In every place there is a sacrifice 
and there is offered to my name a clean oblation. The Holy Mass is our only means of worthily adoring and thanking our Heavenly Father. Through this sacrifice, the divine justice is unceasingly honored and appeased, and the treasures of grace are open to us. O God, how impenetrable is thy wisdom, how infinite thy power, how boundless thy goodness and love. Please turn to page 37. Novena Prayers O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Tadeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute thee through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To thee God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. O oh, my life, I will be grateful to thee, and will be thy faithful client, until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke Thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke Thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most Holy Apostle, Saint Jude Tadeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved Master into the hands of his enemies, has caused thee to be forgotten by many, but the Church honors and invokes thee universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee to bring visible and speedy help, where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude the Deus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. For board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. <clears throat> And that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. And for all, we invoke thy aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Tadeus, thou relative of Jesus Christ, thou glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee, thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help, those who almost despair of all hope. Look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs. 
uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. St. Judas, pray for us and for all who invoke thy aid. O salutaris hostia, vecelipan disos tiu, bela premo hostilia, darobor peroxi. I firmly believe that Thou art really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore Thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship Thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh, my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us and to be able to speak to Him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored Thy divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore You eternally in heaven. Amen. We now pray the Oracio Imperata against the COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to You in our need to ask Your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. We pray the prayer of Saint Gertrude, prayer for the souls in Purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in Purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved Patron of Hope, St. Jude Tadeus, we all pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere morcenui et anticum documentum novo Tritui, restet fides supplementum sensum defectui, genitori genitoque lauset jubilatium, salus honor virtus coque sidit Occidenti ad utroque comparsit laudazium. Amen. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all the life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You have lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, be every moment thine. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all we bow before thee, O Hey. 
Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting help to those who believe. Hear us for thy sick, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle, Jude Thaddeus, and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, kindly raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord, in his love and mercy, cherish and reinforce with his blessing these tokens of your devotion and piety so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody, and you may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, may the Lord bless you and these religious articles and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And on the occasion of today's solemnity of Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, there will be an additional Mass at 11 o'clock, and an evening Mass at 6 p.m. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Father. Pinagbubukalan ng 